Hi, I'm Sebastian from BMix, and in this video, I will be calibrating this hard transmitter digital output together with the temperature sensing element. For my heat source, I will be using the BMix MC6T. This is a multifunction calibrator and the field communicator. For my input signal, I will be using the internal reference sensor. And for my output digital measurement, I will be using the built-in hard communicator. The hard transmitter contains two different operation modes, point-to-point -point mode and multi-drop mode. The point-to-point -point mode is the most common one, and it is analog, typically 4 to 20 milliamps. The multi-drop mode, the output signal is digital. You can change the operation mode by changing the address. The point-to-point -point mode, the address is zero, and in multi-drop mode, the address is above zero, up to 63. To calibrate this package, you first need to create the instrument and give it such parameters as ID, calibration range, set points, error limits. You can do it directly on the MC6T, or you can do it in the BMX calibration software, CMX or Logical, and then send it to the calibrator. Before we start our calibration procedure, we need to insert the probe into the heat source. I have already sent my instrument to the calibrator, so I can choose it from the documenting calibrator. It's this one, PT100 and Heart. And I'm going to be using an internal loop supply. In the MC6T, we have a 24 volt Heart compatible loop supply. So I'll choose this one, and I see that it's connecting. In the meantime, I can check that everything is okay. So I see I'm going to be doing a three-point up calibration, 30 to 50 Celsius. And I see that I'm using the internal reference sensor and need to connect my heart transmitter to these two connections. And since I'm using the heart in a multi-drop mode, digital output, I only need to use two connections. So let's start. To start the automatic calibration, I just need to hit the start button and the calibrator will do the rest for me. Information that I see on the screen here is, for example, my set point, 30 degrees for the first point. I see my internal reference sensor reading. And in this window, we have the digital output from the heart transmitter. So I'm viewing it in digital, 28.8 degrees at the moment and comparing it to the internal reference. And the MC60 is constantly calculating the error, so I see what it is. The graph part of this view is my calibration uh, procedure, or, or set points, how they perform. I have my lower and upper error limits, the blue lines, and I want my point, a moving dot, to be within these two blue lines. If it's below, it's going to be failed. Same if it's above. And as long as it's in these, between the blue lines, it's going to be a pass calibration. Let's let this run and come back to a few set points and see what we have gathered. We're getting closer to the first set point and we can see that we are within the blue lines. We can also press the upper part of the, the screen on the ribbon and I can toggle between two different views. The first view and then we have a graphical view where I have my temperature readings and also a stability reading. The lower the stability number is, the more stable the signal is. So we see that we are getting close to the first point being captured and recorded. It just captured the first set point. We see that the calibrator gave the next set point, 40 Celsius, and the heat source is already ramping up the temperature. We are getting closer to the second set point, the 40 degrees Celsius, and we see that our green dot is getting closer and closer to the middle point. If we want, we can also check again on the stability curves and see where we are in the, in the phase. We still have a little bit time to go before we are uh, in a stable enough position before the calibrator will capture the set point. So let 
we will let it uh, run its course before it captures the set point. We are now at the third and final set point and uh, very close to have this temperature reading being captured and recorded. We can just toggle quickly and see where we are in our stability curve. Looking good. And the calibrator has just recorded the third and final set point. We have a pass calibration. We see that with green big letters. We can see also our uh, results, the maximum found error, and also the significance of it. We can choose who have calibrated, enter some notes, and these notes will be then present in the calibration uh, certificate. We can also still check our graphical results and numerical results. I'm going to save this as found and my job is finished. I can go on to my next calibration task or continue with this one. I still need to upload my results to my calibration management software, CMX or Logico. When I've done this, if I want to completely stay paperless, I will be sending the information to my supervisor or administrator. They will then approve the results and the calibration loop is finished. If I want to print it out to a piece of paper, I can do so by choice. If you want to learn more about the MC60 or other BMX devices, please go to our YouTube channel and watch the videos. Thank you for joining in on this one and see you next time.